So, it's me, your little boy, the something. I have something of them people you need for us to do once today. Your boy is cooking. Let me tell you two things. Everybody cannot be your friend. This is the, just the bitter truth you don't want to hear. And sometimes, many of us are trying to force ourselves to those whom God is trying to kill to them. Many of us are trying to make it work when God is absolutely killing it secretly. You know, this is why you don't need to force nothing to stay in your life. This is why you don't need to force anything to be within you or to be around you or to stay with you. Because the main truth is that there are people who God has authorized that they are not made to be with you. There are those who God has automatically authorized that they are not made to stay in your life. It does not matter how you do it. It does not matter the kind of fasting you take, the kind of prayer you make, the kind of places you visit, the kind of authors you visit. The truth is that there are some certain things that God has called you out of. God has called you out of. That not everyone ought to love you. So if everybody around you love you, that means there's something special about you that is so totally missing. You know, that is to tell you that if everybody around you today love you, that means there's something special about you that is missing, that you need to recollect instantly. Everybody around you will never love you. You know, this is why I love my parents so much that they have taught me that a time will come in my life where people I love the most will betray me. I have been taught by my parents that a time will come in my life where people I, I thought they would stand by me will stand against me. So that is why you need to understand that you can't please everyone around you. Even if you fake it, even if you pretend, even if you change who you are, even if you change your identity, even if you start to behave like them, go where they go, do the stuff they do. People who love you will still love you. People who hate you will still hate you. It does not matter how you try to compromise. Those who like you will like you. And those who still don't like you will, don't, will not like you. Become a cheerful giver. Become a healer like Christ. Those who still hate you will hate you. Trust me. Some people will hate you because you are too kind. But some people will hate you because you are too what you are too gentle. Some people will hate you because you give you give life to those who who feel like giving up. Some people will hate you because you are progressing. Some people will hate you because you are not depending on them. Some people will hate you because you are able to eat this morning. Some people will hate you because you made a phone call with someone they don't know. Some people will hate you because you are favored, not like them. Some people will hate you because they are shocked how come you are still alive. Some people will hate you because you are not depending on them before you are able to cope, not succeed. So there are expectations of everyone around you. Everyone around you have their different expectations and different agenda. Some people around you have good expectations, some have bad expectations. So that is to tell you that you need just to be you. For those who love you will love you. Even if you fake it or you prank it, even if it's false or fake, people who love you, whether truth or not, those who love you will still do what? Love you. Just be yourself and don't change whom you are for the sake of people around you. Remember that?